Hi everyone and welcome to the ETR Training Grounds. My name is Sharp and today we're looking at setting up A3 in such a way that it makes life a hell of a lot easier for you, especially if you're new to Ace and gain your head around all the controls. So let's get started. So let's get started. Let's have a look at the standard Ace controls. So by default, Control and Left Windows opens up your self-interaction menu and you'll notice it is in a radial menu, so it's in this sort of format. You can control it with your mouse, and you can look around, and you can see, I can, if I let go of the self-interaction menu, I can do that gesture. However, it can be quite difficult to navigate, especially if you're looking at somebody's body, so you're looking at the leg and you want to try and get the morphine in, you end up looking over here maybe to actually get that in. And especially if you want to look at certain things, you're and you've got track IR, you can look around, you may end up looking over here, but in reality you want to swap scopes or whatever, so it can be a bit of a pain. So let's figure out a way to get that a little bit better, a little bit easier for you. So let's press escape. At the top left we have ACE options, and but when you come in it will be set to all categories. Now at the top you have two options, which is options as we are in now, and colours. You can change colours for whatever you want, however I won't show you how to do that today. So we're going to go back into the options. Luckily we can break this down into categories, and instead of having to do it all from this menu, we may end up getting lost and not setting the right, uh, the right setting that we want. So we're going to go into the medical one first. Now, pain effect type I like to have it colour flashing, although you can have it at this uh, chromatic aberration, which I suck at saying, uh, but I don't prefer that. I prefer the colour flashing, uh, personally. Uh, selections 3D, I leave that as default. I personally don't use the medical menu, but if you want to use the medical menu, which is default key is H, you can enable it there. However, be aware that some servers don't let you use the medical menu. So even if you have enabled it on your side, the server may be disabling it. So just be prepared for that and, don't, and just think, oh, why is it not working? Maybe think that the server may be disabling it. And reopen medical menu. Leave that to yes. Like I said, I don't use medical menu. So if you are using it, probably leave that as default. Drop down menu again. We're going to go to interaction menu. This is the big one. So from the top, we're going to change display cursor for self-interaction. So you're going to click on it, go to setting, and then change that to yes. Keep cursor centered. Don't set this because if you're looking over to the left, and especially with with track IR, it's easy to do that. I look over and I I press no. I press set that to yes. I'll end up having to look over there all the time to do a certain action. So make sure that it's set to no unlike as it says if your screen size is really small but hopefully you aren't in that situation display cursor for interaction we're going to set that to yes menus as lists this one is the lifesaver let's set that one to yes interaction text size can be whatever you want I'm going to set it to large leave the shadow at outline this one is still up for debate um, I always tell people to leave this at default but some people really like to click when they're setting these uh, options. I personally don't think it's safe given that you may be uh, pointing a gun at somebody, um, maybe if you're medicking them and you haven't put your gun down and you could accidentally shoot them. It's not happened yet but the potential's still there so this is why I always leave this one set to yes. Interaction menu background, I always see, leave that to disabled. Actions for buildings, we're going to set that to yes. Animation speed, we're going to leave it normal. Past magazines, we're going to leave that to yes. And the last one is for your gestures. I always leave this at keybinds and interaction menu. It's personal preference. Uh, you can change that to disable or just, or just keybinds. It's completely up to you. So let's go down. Map gestures, there's nothing there. Name tags, this one can be useful. For new players, you may want to be able to see everybody's name, so you might want to leave this at enabled. I personally, because I generally know who I'm playing with, I'm going to pre leave that one on cursor. So as I'm looking at someone, that's when I'll know what their name is. And the next options, completely up to yourself what you set it at. However, some servers will restrict what information you do see. Quick mount, I've never enabled it, so I don't know what it does. So if you 
know what it is and you uh, quickly enter vehicle what you're looking at it's up to you um, but I've never used it logistics I'm gonna leave that as default yes tagging I still don't know what that is so I'm just not even gonna set that UI now UI I wouldn't touch because again this is something that will be controlled by the server you are on so don't worry about that view distance uh, you can set that to video settings, but for us on ETR, our server we have a we have a way that you can via the interaction menu set your own view distance. Advanced fatigue, if the server is running advanced fatigue, leave that to yes. Advanced throwing, I'll cover that in another tutorial. However, you want to enable all these to yes, especially if you're new to advanced throwing because it shows you how to use it. I always leave it as yes anyway. And hearing. You can disable the uh, earring and if it is annoying for you, I always set it to yes because boy can it get annoying. And once you're done with that, we're just going to press close. So now we've got the control set up, what effect did it have? So let's press self interaction menu which was left control and windows. As you can see our cursor is in the middle and we, our menus are in lists. So for example equipment, I can go over here and I'm going to let go on earplugs in my earplugs go in. Let's go into gestures and we're going to do stop and radios. I can open the radios from this or I could go to view distance but I change the view distance to up there. Uh, as you can see it's a hell of a lot easier than it would be having to chase it around the area. Now unfortunately I haven't got anybody else on the server but what we can do is we can see we're interacting with this one. Default it's left windows uh, but I'm using my own personal keybind for this one so we can look at it as you can see I can use my cursor have a look in the cargo see it's got some wheels in there other useful controls that you may end up coming across to is the point function now the point function is done by shift and tilde and as you can see I can look over there and say hey I want you to go over there and people that are within a certain radius again that setting is controlled by the people uh, the server can see your point so I'm pointing over there people around me will see that and hopefully they listen to you and they're gonna head over there again it might not be enabled on the server so if it doesn't work don't worry just check with the person who's running the server to see if it is actually working or it is enabled for say the least other controls if you have glasses on like I do control shift and tilde clear your glasses very useful if you've come off a helicopter um, and there are a load of other controls that you can check within the configure add-ons tab in the controls so hopefully those settings will make thing make your life a lot easier while playing Ace um, any questions feel free to leave a comment below or check us out at tacticalrealism.eu where you'll also find links to our discord server uh, that's linked on the main page of the website once again I'm Sharp thank you for watching and see you next time.